Hello world, we are coming to you recording from Orlando, Florida, and in today's training, we're going to teach you how to invest in mobile homes virtually. We recently did a training in our exclusive Facebook community, so you guys are going to get a sneak peek of the trainings we actually conduct in there. Absolutely. So this is part one of a two-part series. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the bell to be notified of new videos we post every week. about investing in mobile homes virtually it's not necessarily just doing wholesale deals virtually we're doing all types of deals virtually so uh, we want to kind of present that to you guys and show you some of our experience some our experiences give you some case studies of some deals that we've done in the past few months that have been some game changers for us yeah so um, let's just say you come across a great deal in Arizona for yeah. example we're gonna use ourselves uh, as the guinea pigs right now um, but you live in California so uh, what do you do? You know, um, virtual deals is what you do. You complete deals from your computer without physically going to the home. Yes, guys, it gets better. So why virtual deals? So the one thing, main thing is here, we want to protect your time. You, you might be finding opportunities in other states and other locations, but it's not um, time efficient to be driving over there or trying to fly over there just to make the deal happen. So obviously we need to figure out a way to do these deals without having to use our own time to get there and physically be in that location. Exactly. We also want to help you get more deals done. There's more opportunities available nationwide. So with you having um, just more opportunities to work with more people, serve more people and partner up with more uh, students and your peers, it's ultimately going to allow you to get more deals done. Yeah, because now you're not bottlenecked by your current location. Now you're able to spread yourself out by delegating and working with other people to get more deals done. This also helps to learn different markets. Maybe you've joined our program and you're like, hey, you know, I'm finding opportunities, but I'm actually closer to a rural area and the city close to me is just too far away. Or, you know, I'm really, I heard about a hot market out in North Carolina or Virginia or even Arizona. You know, I, I think I want to start doing deals out there. So this is going to allow you to learn these markets and actually find some success in them. It's going to help you scale your business. So as you're able to do more and more of these deals virtually, you're able to scale and do more deals per month, do more deals per location, and it just helps you to be able to get a lot more done because you're not the bottleneck. You're not the one running out to get every inspection, you know, trying to, to te talk to all the sellers and park managers. You're leveraging other people's time. Yeah, this is when you're going to really start to be able to actually build a business. When you're not in that hustler mode doing everything wearing all the hats you're going to be able to delegate some of the jobs and actually work more expand yourself more because you have more people on your team you're able to do more deals and then you're going to be able to work with friends family members investors that want to make money in this niche maybe you have some friends that are very very interested they probably even partner with you to get into the program but you guys live in two separate states or even a family member right exactly now you can leverage them you can work with people that um, are interested in this and you guys can bring value to each other and make money together so this is about really part bringing partnerships um, and alliances with you in different areas around the country. So what this training covers, so let's just say, you know, when you find an opportunity outside of your initial territory, we're gonna be uh, speaking from the terms of, hey, I'm the investor, you are the investor, and you found an opportunity. It's just a little bit too, uh, too far outside of your initial territory, maybe even be in another state. But you are going to be partnering with someone who resides near the location of the property to actually be your boots on the ground. And they do the boots on the ground work, which we're going to go into in a bit. But basically, we're obviously not able to do that because of the physical constraints. I can't get to that location. So I need to find a partner that can actually do this. And we're going to work together and we're going to split the profit. So uh, we're going to kind of go into how that works. So what this training is not going to cover, um, selling contracts to other investors for a wholesale fee. Now, we're not saying this doesn't work. You know, there are um, investors that do this in the real estate industry uh, quite often, um, but because we are using titles, 
you know, and uh, we are working in different states other than our own. We're not going to be covering that in this training. Yeah, and not like Jay said, and this is not saying that you can't do this. It's yeah. a bad strategy. We're just saying this is not the strategy that we focus on. So right. we wanted to focus on the deals that we've done and virtually in the past few months. But this isn't another strategy. We're just not going to cover it tonight. Also, receiving a referral fee for sharing a lead you found. Now, uh, there are people that do this. This is perfectly fine. But we want you to get paid out. You know, we want you to get an equal share of this uh, opportunity to bring the opportunity to the table so again this does work there's investors that do this there's real estate agents that do, we this. do we've done yeah. this we've, yeah. we've sent leads and gotten referral fees for sending leads but that's not necessarily what we're going to cover in this training tonight and then co-wholesaling putting your fee on top of a fee of someone else's like wholesale fee so if you guys have started in real estate before mobile home investing you know about the co-wholesaling you know there's like Three, three, four, five, six different wholesalers <laughs> in line before you know you even get paid. Right? Yeah, so we've seen other investors do this. Like they'll find a home that they they, they found on the market from another wholesaler. Maybe it's at we'll just say ten thousand dollars, and then they're gonna list it to their buyers for thirteen thousand dollars and try to make a fee, and then bring their buyer to that wholesaler and kind of sandwich the deal together. That's not what we're talking about tonight. I'm not saying that that strategy doesn't work. Just saying that's not necessarily what we do and what we are going to be training. So let's talk about the roles that are involved. I think it's really important for you guys that are actively in the group and starting to partner um, to really get a, a sense of each and every role entailed and then um, like what you actually need to do, like what you're actually responsible for. So um, you as the investor, you have found the opportunity. So it is your responsibility to have the knowledge and the strategy, right? Exactly. That's what you're bringing to the table. You're bringing an opportunity to someone saying, hey, I have this person that needs to sell their home. I can guide you through this. I can show you and tell you exactly the process we need to close this, close this out. And I'm going to bring the knowledge and the strategy to make sure it gets done. So when you say guiding, that's what we mean. You are the one that's going to be coordinating the deal. Now, um, some people might say, well, you know, my boots on the ground can coordinate. Are you sure about that? Again, this is just our strategy, right? Exactly, exactly. And from our experience, it works really well when we're able to come and bring a specific opportunity and say, this is what we want to do with it. All I need you to do is step one, step two, step three. That makes it so much easier. The boots on the ground is just doing the work instead of having to find the opportunity, negotiate the deal, try to figure out, you know, what strategy and how, what process we're going to use. No, we just want them to be able to have clear instructions on exactly what they need to do. To and coordinating the, the deal. Again, you guys can use any of the five strategies we teach in our course right now. It all depends on what the seller really needs. You still have to meet the seller where they're at, regardless if this is in person or a virtual deal. So keep that top of mind. Also, you're going to be in charge of communicating with the seller and these deals we figured out their motivation. We figured out why they need to sell, how much they need to sell, they're willing to let their home for, go for. We're, we're the one that has that negotiation hat on and the we're kind of in control of the deal because we have the connection to the seller. And if they're extremely motivated, don't be afraid to ask for pictures of the home. We do that every single time. Um, when they're extremely motivated, uh, a lot of the time they'll go go there and get a lot of the work done like picture-wise for you to save exactly, you a bunch of time. Exactly. But nonetheless, we're kind of managing that. We're making sure we're not just throwing any type of lead at the boots on the ground or any type of situation. We want to make sure that before we send the boots on the ground out there, that there's a motivation there and that the seller is, this is a real deal. This is something that we've already Now we with. keep saying boots on the ground. We get the term, <laughs> but we need to explain what the boots on the ground is. So, so your number two, your yeah. number two is the boots on the ground. So this is going to be somebody that must be reliable, must be trustworthy, and must understand your process. Those are so, so important. Guys, we're not just <laughs> hiring our friends, our random friends to do the job. Guys, we're not hiring hiring people that we don't know. It's very, very important that you have this reliability, this trust, and someone that really, really understands the process. That means you. We really recommend you guys actually going through the process in person at least one time first so that you understand the whole process and what it looks like because it's very challenging for you to communicate that to someone if you haven't gone through the process yourself. Right? Especially when you're looking at pictures of a mobile home, if you haven't really been through mobile homes and looked at and you know inspected them on your own, you may just not know what to look for. You, you know, in a picture, you kind of have to be able to 
picture yourself and visualize, visualize yourself in that home. And so, yeah, we, we need to make sure that we understand the process, but the boots on the ground also understands what's expected of them. They're trustworthy and reliable. Those are huge. And the boots on the ground is going to be responsible for all the face-to-face -face action, all of the face-to-face -face with the clients, like doing the inspection on the home, doing the paperwork signing, showing the home and closing the deal. They're kind of, they are the uh, piece of the puzzle that you can't be. <laughs> they are the, the boots on the ground whenever there's, you know, paperwork that needs any type of notary. There's been instances where we had to utilize our boots on the ground to um, talk with the uh, park manager or even the park owner. So guys, they are there in the physical. And again, you're kind of like a coach on the sidelines. You watch the, you know, the NFL game. You see the coaches with the headset on. Yep. You know, you see the offensive coordinators. <laughs> All they're doing is coordinating the play, and it goes into the helmet of the quarterback, and then the play goes. Exactly. So this is the same way. So you're basically a coach, but you're coaching them. You're telling them exactly what they need to do to make this process work. And then the third, op the third party is possibly a funding partner. So this is all optional, depending on if you're going to wholesale the deal or if you're going to do more of a fix and flip or even a, a quick cash deal. Um, depending on what the strategy is, you may need some funding in place. And you, could, of course, could be the funder. The boots on the ground could be the funder. It really just depends on how you want to put the deal together. Yeah, and if someone's extremely motivated, you know, um, with quick cash deals, there might be a little bit of money needed just to take possession of the title. We're going to go through kind of like our breakdown and make it easy for you guys when you guys are trying to write up your agreement with your boots on the ground. So guys, we hope you got value out of part one of this video. Um, there's a lot of people out there uh, that are getting started with mobile home investing, a lot of people joining our community. And we thought, why not you know, allow everyone to get this knowledge so that they can do deals together, ultimately helping everyone grow and serve more people. Absolutely. So if you're interested in joining Trailer Cash Academy and being a part of this community and doing deals together, we're gonna leave a link right below this video where you can apply to join our accelerator program and join the fun and get some deals done with us. We've got our contracts, our blueprint, our scripts, everything that you need to be successful with mobile home investing. So don't forget to apply at the link below this video. And as always, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, the like button, and the bell button to be notified of videos we post every week. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.